Good morning, happy bank holiday Monday. Well, what a start to the day. So it's half past seven. Unfortunately, Andrew had a flat tire on his bike this morning. Um, and he had several problems trying to replace it. So I've ended up having to get up and take him to work. So, and yes, I did drive in my pajamas. So yeah, half past seven, I'm up and running and I'm gonna make some breakfast. Uh, and then while it's cooking, I'm gonna get dressed and take Charlie out for a walk. So I'll show you what I'm gonna make. And it is a lovely day already. So I've got a few bits out here. So what you'll need is I'm gonna make some um, baked oats with jam in the middle. I've probably shown this before, um, but I did get asked a couple of weeks ago about how to make it. So we need 40 grams of oats for your Health Extra B choice. We need one egg, about 30 to 40 grams of milk, skimmed milk as part of a Health Extra A choice. Um, I'm going to mm. use this Skinny Food Company Strawberry Jam, which I bought with my own money, and that is half a sin for 20 grams. But please just check the app for whatever jam you have in the house. It is a little bit lower than you think. And then we need a carrot grated, uh, uh, sorry, peeled and grated fine like with a grater. And I'm also going to use some almond essence to give it a bit of a Bakewell tart flavour. And also you might want to add some sweetener or skinny syrup. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, grate the carrot, weigh all the other ingredients and mix everything together apart from the jam. So here we go then, there's the oat, egg, carrot etc mix there. And I've got four silicone bun cases. I think I got these from Ikea and I've split some of the mixture between the four cases and then I'm going to weigh out probably about 40 grams and count once in and split it between the um, buns. So then I've topped the jam with the rest of the mixture and I'm going to cook these in my convection oven at 200 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Well, it's now quarter to nine and I've been out with Charlie and got dressed. And uh, these have been, they were cooking for 23 minutes and obviously I just left them in the oven so they're still warm. I've got three here and one left for later. So it's my jam oat muffins for my Health Extra B, one sin for the jam and half a sin for this banana and custard yoghurt that I'm going to have with it with some fresh strawberries and blueberries and a coffee and I'm going to see what there is on the telly to watch. So, breakfast eaten, it is now quarter to ten. I am going to pop into town to Halfords to get Andrew a new... Um, in a tube. Uh, he's texted me with the details for what he wants. Um, and then this afternoon we have found a local indoors dog show. Um, so in the, not the next village along but the village after that, there is an indoors dog show and I thought me and Charlie could go along and have a bit of fun. Um, and it's classes and let me let me find the post. Rainbows Fun Dog Show. Uh, classes for everyone, all the family. Uh, equestrian venue, catering toilets and parking. So I'm going to have to watch the food, but I'm going to eat some lunch before I go. So we've got one to six years, most appealing eyes, small dog, handsome dog, Dog the judge would like to take home, coloured, pedigree, best mover, sausage or biscuit catcher. So those are a few of the classes that I might enter Charlie into. And obviously I'll take you along with me and we'll see what footage we can get 
but obviously I am going to be on my own with him and it's going to probably be quite a busy venue so we'll see what we can do anyway I was going to put a nice summer dress on with it being such a nice day but then I thought well if we're going to this dog show it might be sort of jumping up on my legs and being all excited so I just put my walking trousers on which are quite cool and this uh, green strappy t-shirt so yeah I'm going to pop into town now if I I'm going to go to Aldi but only because I need to use the cash machine but if I do buy anything I'll show you but I'm going to try and avoid it because obviously buying the inner tube and um, you have to pay to enter these classes that's going to be a few pounds spent today so I can do without shopping if I can help it so yeah I'm going to take a trip out now and I'll catch you later so it's now quarter past 11 and I'm back from town um, in a tube successfully purchased and nothing else but that I didn't need so yeah I just got some cash out ready for this afternoon when we go to the dog show and now I'm going to have an early lunch which I will show you uh, because this dog show starts about quarter past half past twelve this is my lunch it's a piece of my ratatouille crustless quiche that's completely sin free and very speedy and then I've just got that on a bed of stir fry veg I haven't got any tomato puree left and I'm saving my cheese allowance for later so I'm just going to put a bit of this skinny food company tomato ketchup which is free on the plan I'm going to have that with a zero sugar Fanta and an apple and a donut peach Right, so it's now quarter past 12 and I've just packed out my handbag with water for Charlie, juice for me and a pear. I am going to try and avoid whatever food is there unless there's something that looks absolutely scrummy that might be on plan like a, I don't think I'd be eating a jacket potato but maybe some nice fruit or something um, and I'll probably buy a cake for Andrew. Uh, but I am going to do my best to stay on plan or maybe have a nice coffee. Um, yeah, it's ten past twelve, so I need to get it going because it's about a ten minute drive. Get Charlie in the car, and then let's see what happens at a village dog show. <laughs> so, in the one to six class, we came fifth, which was actually last, but we still got a rosette. It didn't help that he tried to jump up at the judge. So we are here. It's about quarter to one, one o'clock. It's going to start any time. I've entered him in six six classes for £15. I'll give you the list as we go along, the names of the classes. I've definitely entered him in Most Handsome Dog and Sausage and Biscuit Catcher, as that's uh, what a couple of you voted for. He's been very good actually. Um, there's a few other dogs in there and he's uh, reacted really well to them. So here it goes. It's not very busy. It's not packed so that's another good thing um, the cafe the food is completely separate from the dog barn so there's no there's no temptations like immediately in sight so that's good there appears to be lots of drinks in the cafe so I can get a diet coke later on um, and there appears to be things like bacon sandwiches and some kind of pasta dish on offer but it doesn't really appeal to me at the moment because I've had that big lunch um, but I will let you know if I eat anything bought but I might snack on my pear and my water it's a bit hot for a coffee and they don't look to do ice creams or anything so all in all that's a good result so there's not lots of tempting food on offer so yeah I'll let you know how we go so here's the list of classes and we are in six so i've put him in one to six years most appealing eyes handsome dog colored three colors plus pedigree, pedigree and sausage sorry about the noise and sausage or biscuit catcher and the first class novice is just getting started and here he is I'm having to record like this just so that there's no shining lights behind me it's like there's lots of sun behind me so I'm not trying to do a favorable angle I think whenever I film there might be a barking dog behind me but just 
just in case you didn't catch what classes he's in, he's in one to, one to six years, most appealing eyes, handsome dog, colour, pedigree and sausage and biscuit catcher. We're just waiting for our first class now, one to six years. Come on then, up this way. Charlie, 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 what's this? Good boy, Charlie, Charlie, heel, heel. So in the one to six class, we came fifth, which was actually last, but we still got a rosette. It didn't help that he tried to jump up at the judge. Charlie? Charlie? Right, the next class we're going for is most appealing eyes. Charlie? Charlie? Do we think he's going to win? Charlie? Good boy. No, I'm not going to do, I'm not going down that. <laughs> <laughs> the most appealing eyes. You're sitting nice and sweet now, aren't you? Come here. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. Come on. Sit down. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Good boy. Sit down. Come on. Sit down. It's hot. Not the quite what you want to do, so look. Charlie. For most appealing eyes, we came second, didn't we? I think he deserves first place myself, but... So the next category is class 10, ha um, handsome, most handsome, yeah, no, handsome dog. So we'll come back and see you for that. Look, we've got a blue, blue coloured one now. Well, your mummy's most handsome dog, aren't you? Mummy's most handsome doggy. I think you're all really handsome doggies. <laughs> I think we've just got another bag, another uh, mark against our name for that. Never mind. Well, we came fifth, which is practically last in uh, most handsome dog, but never mind. <laughs> We've got a little bit of a lull now till our next class. I've just come outside but we are sat in the shade and I've topped up his water bottle. It's uh, quite warm actually inside the hall. Um, yeah, and also obviously it's a bit, little bit noisy in there from time to time with the dogs. So yeah, we're not doing very well, but it's an afternoon out for us. So the next... Um, I actually meant to enter him into dog the judge would like to take home but I don't think she's really taken much of a shine to him so it's probably a good job. Uh, so the next class is coloured, three colours plus. So we'll see how we go. So in the colours of three or more we came fourth. So we've got a few different, we've got two pink ones, a green one and a blue one for second. Right, so we're just going to line up for the pedigree class now. There's only three of us again, so I think we're guaranteed a rosette in this one. Your pedigree, aren't you? Kennel club and all that. We let you throw. Right, do you have your sausages for him then? Oh, yes. Are we throwing Charlie, see? See? Ready? Charlie, see? You missed it! <laughs> no. It's alright. Good boy. Stay. 
We weren't used to that, were we? <laughs> hey, get down. Charlie. 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 Yes. <laughs> right, you send me. Charlie. No, it's, I don't think he'll do it. You can use that one if you want. Yeah, it's alright, yeah. Go on. Go see. It's bigger. Can yeah. You see it? Right. Right. Catch, catch it. Catch it. Ready? Catch it. No, sit. Wait a minute. Stick it on. Lock so he can't go anywhere. You've got to catch. Ready? <laughs> First, second. Yeah, if Bobby was in there, he can really do um, sausage capture. Yeah. I think we can safely judge that he can't catch his treats because he's so used to sitting for them. But it was fun anyway. I think because it was my, if I'd realised, I'd have brought something bigger, like it, like one of his um, dentist sticks or something, not just his little chews. But <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I've got to collect my badge for second. Thank, uh, sorry. Get down. Thank you. Right. Come on then. Well, it's half past three and I am home. I will fill you, I'll have a little chat with you in a few minutes about the dog show and that, but first I am absolutely gasping. So I'm going to have a coffee, my own coffee that is lovely, lovingly made and my pear that got a bit battered in my handbag and then I might be able to actually speak sense to you. Right, I am feeling a bit better now. If you can hear the cricket, that's because Andrew is home safe and sound. Um, one of his workmates brought him home and he has... Have you repaired your inner tube? Have you repaired your inner tube? Yes. Yes, so he should be okay to get to work under his own steam tomorrow morning, all being well. So bearing in mind that there was only about eight dogs there in total... And most classes there are only like five dogs uh, competing in each class. We came second in the sausage catching um, out of two. And he didn't even catch his chew, but never mind. So we got two seconds. So his second was for um, his eyes, most adorable eyes or whatever it was. So that's, that's really good. Then we got a third... I think that was for um, colours. I think that was for colours. A fourth for pedigree. Or it might have been the other way around. Third for pedigree and fourth for colours. And then two fifth places, which were essentially last places. But we had fun. I'm not sure whether it's something I want to get into regularly. But uh, maybe in the future we might go again. Charlie's absolutely flaked out on the mat in the kitchen. So at least it's tired him out. We won't be going out. As I say this morning we went out for a short walk. But we won't be going out for a walk in this heat. So yeah it's got us out of the house. It's tired us both out. And yeah it's been a nice little afternoon. And we've had a nice couple of chats. And to top it all off I didn't eat anything that I wasn't supposed to. Um, wasn't even tempted. Uh, on the on the minus side, there wasn't any cakes for Andrew, so Andrew doesn't get any cakes either. Or ice creams, or anything. Like cake, you, you don't like cake. So yeah, I'm gonna go and put my pajamas on because they're a lot cooler than this, and I'll show you my evening meal when I eat it. So actually before I have my evening meal, I'm going to spend an hour or so on my jigsaw. So Andrew uh, actually sent off for this one for me. It's summer in Ambleside, which is where we often visit when we're in the lakes. And it's got some lovely trees uh, and houses. And then we've got Lake Windermere with boats uh, and some of the little rowing boats as well. And this is how far I've got. 
of the thousand piece jigsaw. So yeah, I'm gonna do have an hour working on this. Just coming up to six o'clock and I've done quite a bit of work on my jigsaw, uh, but I'm now sitting down to my evening meal. So I've got our usual Monday mince, which is slow cooker mince, lean mince cooked in the slow cooker with the Coleman's cottage pie mix, which I count as three sins for my portion. Then I've got a huge half a roast butternut squash, some frozen, well, defrosted mixed veg, green beans, peas, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, and then I've got 40 grams of light cheese over the top for a healthy extra air choice, a no added sugar Vimto, and some sweetened quark and strawberries for my evening meal. Good evening. Well, we are just relaxing watching telly. It's going up to eight o'clock. I didn't manage to eat all my evening meal. The butternut squash was far too big and I left some of the mince. Uh, but I'm now getting a bit peckish again. So I'm going to have my evening snack and then I will leave you back to whatever you're getting up to. Here we are then. I've got my last jam baked oats left over from this morning. I've got a strawberry Vienna lolly from Iceland. I believe they're four sins. And these are from Aldi, Foodie Market Lentil Bites. They come in a pack of six and you get three different flavours. Uh, these are sea salt and they are 89 calories. I haven't checked on the app, but I would count four and a half sins for those. And a coffee. So I haven't totaled up how, much, how many sins in total I'm on, but I'm sure um, they're somewhere between 10 and 15. So I'm going to settle down with these, have an earlyish night because we were up at half six this morning and back to work tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.